All right, folks, welcome back. And we are here at the American Crappie Trail, Grenada Lake in September 2020. Excited, Jack, gonna be fishing this alone. Folks, we put some big fish in the boat. We have a great time. Folks, it doesn't get any better. I love the start, I love the blast off. And we are racing to our first spot of the day. We just have a great time. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe, support the channel, and uh, you're gonna see some great fish go into the boat. Thanks again for watching. Now, like I've mentioned before, in any tournament, regardless of where it's at, my priority is always gonna be to get seven fish. Now, I'm always gonna target the big fish. That, that goes without saying, but my number one priority is always to get seven fish. And so even if I start off with seven pounders, this is not a big fish right here, I'm glad because I at least wanna get the seven fish in the boat. You'd be amazed, especially on this particular tournament, because I started off with a, or my last practice day, I should say, was not a good day. So I did not go into this event feeling good. Now, I was very uh, fortunate. I found a cove with a very nice guy, uh, Blake. Um, and it was, me and him had a great time in the cove. I'm able to talk, He, you know, even though we're in a tournament and we're, and we're serious about what we're doing, we were able to talk, have a good time. And uh, we even had Josh Jones show up in our cove, Matt Rogers. It was just, it was just a great cove to be in. Good fish here. Oh, he's going to work. Take it. One twenty, one thirty four. So like I said, we had a very friendly cove. So here's Josh Jones fishing in front of me. We got Blake coming up here shortly. I'll show you where he's at, but very talkative cove, a very fun, easy going tournament, uh, day one tournament cove. But again, what we're doing is we're single pulling, vertical fishing for these, these crappie. And they were a little spooky in this cove. No joke, no joke. You had to follow them around quite a bit, um, but you definitely could, I was having very, I was getting very fortunate in this cove. I felt very good about it. I was not going to leave this cove until I got my seven fish and then I was going to explore elsewhere on the lake. feeling. Oof. Good fish. Number four in the bucket. Let's see what it weighs. Wow, 182. That's a good fish. 182. five fish it's a good start so during tournaments I don't talk a lot so I'm gonna have to do a lot of voiceovers but here I've just decided that I need a long sleeve on again we had some very hot days it was 94 degrees I believe it was very hot so long sleeve is paramount uh, paramount and you definitely need to put some sunscreen on so that's what I was doing here this was roughly around 9 o'clock so it was getting it was getting pretty hot pretty quick
one took a while. We're in the barn. In the barn. You can notice that I changed outfit. Sun protection. Long sleeves are the best ticket. Number six. Thank God. Just give you an idea where we stand. We've got 8.7 pounds. We need one more fish and then we can start culling. Not a bad situation to be. It's uh, 9.45. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Come on, baby, just be a good fish. Thank you. You are a good fish. That's number seven. I am so thankful to see you. Not a big fish, but he's gonna keep. That's awesome. Seven fishes. Seven fish, and it is 10 10. So that's good for me. I didn't have a good day the last practice day. I didn't do a video on that day. A lot of things went on that day. It's a pound fish. We'll take it. Now we start culling at 10 o'clock. Mm. Nine and three quarters. We gotta improve that by about, we need to get to 12 as our goal. For, based on what I've been pre-fishing doing. Oh my God, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Yes! Bam! Mmm! That feels good. That feels awesome right there. American Crappie Trail. That's what I'm talking about, American Crappie Trail. Awesome fish for me. That's gotta be a good fish. Boy, he took a long time for him to bite. He'll do, he'll, he'll do. <laughs> He's probably not gonna count, but funny how long that sucker took to, to bite. <laughs> Man, I was bouncing it off his head. Good night. Yeah, he ain't gonna count, but still a beautiful fish. Now you heard what I said, my goal was 12. And so, you know, during my pre-fish days, my best number was 11. I was getting 11 both days. And certainly the day leading up to this event was extremely poor. So I'm, you know, I'm striving for 12 pounds plus. I've got basically nine at 10 o'clock in the morning. I think I can do this. And basically on this day, anywhere I went, I was catching fish. That's what made it very unique. If I moved over to the trees, I was catching fish, fish like this guy right here. Um, it didn't problem. matter, pretty much like I was finding the bite all across the lake. Biggest fish of the ever week. That is a monster. I think it is anyway. <laughs> that is awesome. Hanging on a tree. Freaking awesome. Be a crappie. Could be a good one too. This is a crappie, it's a good fish.
for crappie. God, it took a while. That will be an upgrade. Bam! Beautiful day out here in Grenada Lake, Mississippi. Go check them out. One of the greatest lakes in the world. A great trail. Crappie Natchez is also a great trail. Um, this is a lot of fun today. After that, more, after that last practice day, maybe it was yesterday. It was. I was a little concerned, man. 158 is going to take out a half pound improvement. Number four. All right, let's take a let's take a two second break. All right, we're at 11 pounds, 0.9, so almost 12 pounds. That is a great, that is a great first day so far for a single guy not knowing anything from Grenada. <laughs> um, if you like these type of content, please do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it helps three pound fishing out a bunch. Check out the merchandise that's on the website. Um, you know, I post a lot on Facebook and Instagram. I hope you all are following that. All I have to do is look at the number three pound fishing on either one of those Instagram, Facebook. Every, you know, mostly every day, uh, my daughter helps me with that a lot and does a lot of that posting for me. So I send her pictures, stuff like that. But uh, I do appreciate everybody's support. And uh, we've got about an hour and a half left out here at Grenada uh, before we're gonna go in and uh, make sure these, these fish are healthy. They look healthy right now. I've got my my cooler going right now check it out so if you saw that episode of me making that um, it's a great episode check it out got your oxygen got my actual air bubbles going as well so that they don't get uh, oxygen poisoning I guess it is and uh, so that's been working well it's, it's worked great the last tournament that I had to use it I guess so now right now the fish look very lively but to be honest with you the fish you know, I've got three good sized fish in the, the big live well here and they look healthy as well. So, but water has been chilled and I did use some G juice, although I'm going to use the crappie um, Wally Marshall stuff uh, tomorrow. I just didn't happen to grab it from them. I've really learned to appreciate these sandwiches from Walmart. I don't go with the submarine sandwiches. They're not, honestly, I just didn't like them. But I get these uh, smoked ham and cheese, simple, uh, the simple guys right there i think they taste better first move of the day one o'clock one o'clock move of the day gonna move back towards the marine a little bit so i stayed in that area an awful long time perhaps a little bit longer than i needed to but we've got two hours of fishing left we can still improve our number and we have already improved our number from any of the free fish days that we've been on the lake so it's, it's a great day we feel good it's solo fishing for the first time by ourselves on a, in a major event and we're on a lake that we're not terribly uh experienced but that's what live scope does folks live scope gives you the power to fish any lake and uh, if you're good at one pulling, if you can utilize live scope, man, it, it's just an incredible experience. I did hear from some of the anglers that there are a lot of new fishermen coming on board of these tournaments, and live scope is the main reason for that. So names that we're not familiar with, but and also coming in as single anglers, um, that is going to change the sport. It's going to change it into a single person sport. I truly do believe that. And uh, not to say that there won't be uh, spots or places for people that have a, a, a partner, but at the end of the day, LiveScope allows for single anglers to participate in these tournaments. All right, we just got off the water. It's now time to go to the weigh-in. Pretty psyched. I did pretty darn good for a single guy at Grenada, but not only that, but you know that was my best day I've had here. So. To be able to put that together on the first day, awesome. Let's see where we end up. All right, here we go. This ought to be fun. I'll put you guys up on the post here so that they can, uh, you can experience this. One, one, two, respect. So, get the, if you got cold buoys on those, take them off for me, please. Yeah. There's one. Four. Five. Five. 
six. Seven. You're good, bro. That's it. Thanks, man. Bet, thank you. Yeah. Yep, DJ, I did. Right. Thank yes, you. I did. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It. Here we go. We survived day one. Ah, Viano. Where's he at? He's up there. <laughs> he He'll butcher it. Don't he worry. He destroyed my name. <laughs> I know. Magliano, right? You got a Ma few minutes. They've already started the pre-game. Magliano. Magliano. I'm used to it. How was it out there? Good? I enjoyed it. I had a really good time. Good. Yeah. All right, so this morning, after everybody left, uh -huh. all the tail lights were flashing. All the tail lights were full. All of them. There was like 15 of them. Oh. Have you ever seen such a thing? No. They were like, it was almost like it was a short because they were like real flat. The LED lights were all flickering. That's a big fish. That Very nice. Here, I, that right. I really, I, really, I thought about that. I'm there. And um, so Matt takes it and takes off. And I hear behind the screen, it's like, all right, here we go again. So, this yours? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's going to get a little are rated here. So, my I'll first time bass out. fishing, they're yeah. going in a bass tournament. So, we're putting in these big strings of fish. And I say strings of fish because the first time I said, oh my gosh, sir, you've got a great big bag. And behind me, <laughs> the producer says, don't say, he's got a big bag. <laughs> so, my response was, oh, like, how long do we have? Four minutes. Oh, so, the only response I could say on the microphone was, all righty. So, <laughs> I get home, all my friends are like, you said like, all righty, 50 times. I said, well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> and welcome to ACT 2020 Grenada Lake, brought to you by BNM Poles. Folks, I'm James Bryant. Welcome all aboard. And we've got a unique little weigh-in situation today. We are in the middle of a COVID crisis down here in southern Mississippi, or northern Mississippi as we are here at Grenada Lake. So we've exercised a little social distancing platform we're going to do today, a long distance weigh-in. So we have our boats going to be a drive-through, the fish are going to be brought up. So it's going to be a short little weigh-in today, a lot, a lot of interviews. Tomorrow we'll have a chance to talk to those anglers. But today, our goal is to find out who's going to make that top 10, and we're going to find out right away. We had a couple early weigh-ins, team of Jason and Parker Eichwurzel had a 1492 string and a 252 big fish weighed in by Jason Hotspiller and Adam McLeod. So moving forward, we're going to see a first-time solo angler, Matthew Maviano. Matthew, good to see you today. Got seven fish limit today. It was nice talking to him off camera. He said it's first time fish by himself, dealing with a net, finding out. We'll talk to him more tomorrow because he's got a good string today. It's going to be about 1287, Mr. Maviano. Very good. We appreciate it a bunch. Got a big fish you want to weigh too, correct? Yep. Let's get that guy out of here. He was excited. It's always good to do it by yourself, isn't it? Yes, it is. There we go. Here's a nice, nice grenade of fish here. Looking for a 252. It's a close map, but not quite. 238, though. Good fish. I'm going to give that back to you so we can get some fish there, uh, some pictures for you. Appreciate it a bunch. Thanks for fishing with us. So you got to love the weigh-in process, especially at the ACT. It's just a great time, great experience. And I'll tell you, I'm going to show you exactly where I end up in the, after day one. I'm, I'm stoked. I feel good. I did this on my own. We're solo fishing Grenada Lake. The best fishermen are here during this event, and you, it just doesn't get any better. you got to love the boats. They get their, all the wrap jobs. You know, it's just, it's just, it just really, truly is a great experience. So uh, I encourage anybody to go to these events and to experience a tournament. I think it's just a great experience for, for all anglers, especially if you have any aspirations to be a professional crappie fisherman. So just a great experience here at ACT and uh, yeah, let's just talk about where we ended up. All right, here. moving on here. We'll get his fish here just collectively. We get this all lot uh, ironed out this, this afternoon. Oh yeah. Let's get you to the scale here. We're looking for 1492 to take the lead. We got closer. 1370, 1370. That's not bad. No big fish to weigh, correct? All right, good job, guys. We're going to give away over $70,000 in cash and prizes collectively. It's going to be an exciting day tomorrow. 
All right, that will conclude day one of the American Crappie Trail, Grenada Lake. Uh, day two coming up tomorrow morning. Um, I am enjoying a little drink and can't wait to go have dinner. I go to bed very early for people that are curious about that. Eight o'clock, that's how early. So um, we are in 36th place out of 91 or 92 teams. Regardless, solo, I, I think it's awesome that we're in 36th place. Uh, these are great teams, fantastic teams, the best there are, period. And uh, I can't wait to do it again tomorrow and see what happens, because there is a cluster of people in that 12 to 13 pound range. So there's gonna be a lot of moving in that area. So we have to maintain and that's the goal and we'll be to bed early tonight for another wake up early experience. So thanks for watching, I, please, uh, I appreciate it. Please subscribe and uh, three pound fishing appreciation. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.